Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, allow me to give glory to God and to thank Him so much for the opportunity to be here. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, secondly, I would like to thank my husband who has given me permission to do what I do and also to come with me tonight. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. And I would love to thank Bishop and the First Lady, my sister, Thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. Um, we don't take it for granted. Actually, I become emotional when I think about it. That, you know, um, there are no borders in the spirit realm. And God has allowed us to, to have a family in India we feel at home hallelujah. hallelujah so we call this place home hallelujah. hallelujah and I thank God that um, he has made it possible for my husband to be here so that you can see that I was telling the truth <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah uh, tonight, I want to speak about being a credible witness for Jesus Christ. Let's go to Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 2. It reads as follows. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Amen. Amen. Niko veliku vachi unnadi lemmu tejari lemmu yehova mahimani meedu udayinchanu. Chudumu bhoomini chikati kami unnadi katika chikati janamulu kami unnadi yehova ni meedu udayinchanu nadu ayana mahimani meedu kanapadu chunnadi. We can see that all over the world. Manam loka mantha manam chudagalamu. There is so much darkness. There is wars. People are doing things that are not representing God at all. But the word of God says we must arise and shine because the world is becoming desperate for us. They must come to our light. When things are going down, God wants us to be credible witnesses for himself. But how do we become credible witnesses? Let's go to Acts 1 verse 8. Acts 1 verse 8. Acts, uh, Acts. Uh, it reads as follows. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the world, earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Parishuddhatma me medha ka vachchina pudu meiru shakti nundhe dheru kanuka. Meiru Yerushalayi mulo nu yudhaya samaraya desham landan tata. Boodhi gantha mula varukun aku sakshla indu dhuranu varthu chepinu. So the word of God tells us that you are not only going to be a witness in Hyderabad. He wants you to be a witness all over the world. You can be a witness all over the world. In other words, we are supposed to be ambassadors of God all over the world. An ambassador doesn't do what they feel like doing. They, 
they do what their country has sent them to do vaari desham emi cheyamani cheppindi adi cheyadaniki chestaru vallu i don't know about here in india ikkada bharat desham lo paristhiti naaku teliyadu gaani but where i come from in south africa gaani south africa nenu ochina pradesham nunchi when you go to court meer bayitiki velthe they want credible witnesses vaaru sajeeva sakshalu avtarandi edanna ante if you are not credible vaaru kovela vaaru nijamaina pratyaksha sakshi lekapothe you cannot be trusted vaaru nammaleru so we see jesus is saying we must go out there and be his witnesses yes antunadu manamu villayaniki sakshuluga undalani korutunadu aina if you say jesus is a healer yesu swastha parichu vaadane manam chepthe people are supposed to say has he healed you prajalu aina adugutharu mee aina mimmal swastha parichada ani have you seen him heal anybody evarnaina avu swastha parichu nu chusava ani adugutharu you are supposed to say yes he has healed me meer chepagalagali avunu aina nu baagu chesadu i was diagnosed with cancer na cancer undanu teliyecheyabaddi and he healed me aina nu baagu chesadu swastha parichadu glory be to god devuniki mahimakalunu ga i like the testimony that i had earlier on nenu indha varaku vinnatundi sakshamnu batti vandanalu she is a credible witness thanu yokka pratyaksha sakshi ga untunadi she has got a testimony saksham thanalo unnadi that glorifies jesus yesu mahima parichetavanti di hallelujah hallelujah everything that we do manam chese prati vishayamu must glorify jesus yesu mahima parichali everything that we have manam kaligina prati di kuda must give glory to jesus devunike mahima ki teliyeyali let's go to colossians 1 verse 13 colossi 1:13 telusukundamu it reads as follows ee rakanga manam chadavagalamu who had delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the his kingdom of his dear son aina manana andhakara sambandhamaina rajya adhikaram nundi vidudala chesi taanu preminchina tana kumaruni yokka rajya nivasuluga chesenu the world is becoming desperate lokam anta kuda paritapistunadi if they do not see the light in us mana lopala vaaru velugu chudalekapothe they cannot have hope vaariki nirikshana anedi undadu we have the solutions mana degara parishkaralu unnai of all the problems that are taking place in the world lokamlo jarugutunna prati samasyaku sambandhinchinavi but when we are not plugged in eppudaithe manam anusandhanam kaakunda untamo to the vine i kava draksha likhi we can never produce fruit manam ennadu falinchalemu they can never see vaar ennadu chudaleru the fruit in our lives mana jeevithamlo phalamunu the bible tells us bible manaku teliyichestundi that he is the vine aina drakshavalli and we are the branches manam thigalamaynamu when we are plugged to the vine manam drakshavalli kanusandhanam ayyi we will produce fruit manam phalalu phalinchagalamu that will remain adi nilichi untundi when they see fruit varu phalamu chusinappudu they will be able to believe varu nammagalaru hallelujah hallelujah the bible tells us bible manaku teliyichestundi that the power of darkness cheekati andhakarapu shakti is nothing compared de maatramu polchalemu to the power of jesus christ yesu christu shakti tho the blood of jesus yesu raktamu is a receipt for us who believe manam namme etavanti vaari koraku rasidu ga undi when we know manam telusukunnapudu what he has done on the cross silivu meeda ayina emi chesaru and we believe in it manam dani namminapudu we are able manam cheyagalamu to produce manam kaluga cheyagalamu much fruit adhika phalamunu that remains hallelujah ivandi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 12:2. Roma 12:2. It tells us Manaku teliyichestundi that we must not conform to the patterns of this world. Manam ee loka maryadana manam anusarinchakudadu. But we must renew our minds. Kaani mana manasu nootana parichukoni by the word of God. Devuni vakyam dwara nootana parichukovali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that the word of God దేవుని వాక్యం నుంచి మనకు తెలుసు is powerful అది శక్తివంతమైనది but the kingdom of god కాని దేవుని రాజ్యము is works or it depends on the knowledge జ్ఞానము మీద ఆధారపడి ఉంటున్నది the knowledge that you have of the kingdom of god దేవుని రాజ్యము మీద ఎంత జ్ఞానం ఉందో దాని మీద ఆధారపడి ఉంటున్నది the more knowledge you have మీరు అధిక జ్ఞానం కలిగి ఉండే కొలది of what jesus has done యేసు మీ కోసం ఏమి చేశారు the more it empowers you మీకు అంత సామర్థ్యాన్ని ఇస్తుంది to produce fruit ఫలము ఫలించినట్లు hallelujah hallelujah when god said let there be light దేవుడు వెలుగు కలుగును గాక అని పలికినప్పుడు light became వెలుగు కలిగెను Why is it that many Christians enduku chaala mandi kristavulu say things vishayalu palukutunaru maybe they can say be healed in the name of jesus yesu naamamlo swasthata pondu ani kuda cheptunaru and nothing happens emi jaragatledu 
it's still they say it in the name of jesus vaari yesu naamamlo ani cheptunna appuda but the kingdom of god kaani devuni rajyam anedi works it, it depends on how much you know meeku enta telusu ane daani meeda aadharapadi untunnadi of the word of god devuni vakyam gurinchi and how much do you believe enta ga nu nammutunnavu that what you know meeku telisinadi will come to pass adi jarigi teerutundani hallelujah hallelujah the bible says you will say to this mountain bible cheptundi nee ee konnanu chuchi go throw yourself into the sea nee etti bayabadi samudramu naatapadam ani chepte and it will happen adi jarugutundani so what am i saying to you tonight ee raatri meeku em teliyestunna ante i'm saying it is important to renew your mind mee manasu nootana parichukodam entho pramukhyam by the word of god devunu vakyam dwara not only on sunday kevalam aadivaram maatrame not only on friday shukravara మాత్రమే కాదు but it must be a daily thing kaani anudinamu we need to feed our spirits mana aatmalaku poshisthu undali it must be your lifestyle mee jeevana shaili ga undali the more you feed yourself with the word of god mimmali meeru devuni vakyam tho nimpukune kuladiga the bible says bible cheptundi um faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god vinuta valana vishwasam kalugunu vinuta kristunu gurchina maata valana kalugunu the bible also says bible telichestundi my people na janulu not the heathens anyulu kaadu my people na janulu perish for lack of knowledge gnanamu leni vaare nashinchutunnaru so the more knowledge we have manam adhika gnanam kaligunde kuladi of, of of the word of god devuni vakyam gurinchi the more we can do great exploits for jesus yesu kosam anni goppa kaayam nanchegalu the more we can be credible witnesses for Jesus. Jesus Yesu Christ kosam namakamaina sakshulaga undagalamu The Bible says in Galatians 4:1 Galati 4:1 lo bible lo telichestundi It reads as follows what i am saying Nen edaithe cheptunano is that as long as an heir is under age varasulu anni vishayamlo kartayunnanu baladainanta kaalam ataniki dasuniki He is no different from a slave Dasuniki ataniki ye bedamu ledhu Although he owns the whole estate Mottamu thana swadhinam undunna kuda So the word of God tells us Devuni vakyam manaku telichestundi That even though we are children of God Manam devuni biddalam ayinappudi kuda It is possible to live like a slave Manam baanisallaga jeevinchedaniki avakasham undi Not because you are not a child of God Meeru devuni biddalu kaadani kaadu But because you don't have enough knowledge meeku chalinanta gnanam ledhu kabatti of what you have been given as an inheritance meeku swasthyamuga emi ivabadindo dani vishayamai because the word of god says devuni vakyam teliyestundi everything that we need for life jeevinathamulu kavalsina samasthamu has been given to us manaku anugrahinchabadi unnadi but if you don't know kaani meeku teliyakapothe you will live like a slave meeru baanisallagane jeevistharu so we need to renew ourselves manalli manam nootana parichukovali our minds mana manasulanu by the word of god devuni vakyam dwara when my husband na bartha was very sick ento anarogyamlo unnapudu and the doctor said vaidulu annaru he is dying tanu chanipobothunnadu i had to run to the word of god nenu devuni vakyam dega parigathu and say what does the word of god say devuni vakyam em telichestunadi the word of god says he will live and not die devuni vakyam telichestunadi tanu chaavu he will live to declare the works of the lord devuni kelu pachurinchadani tanu jeevistadu ani the word of god says devuni vakyam telichestunadi he is healed by jesus stripes and he has been made whole yesu gaayamu dwara tanu swasthata pundi unnadu sampurna aarogyam kaligi unnadani but if i did not know what the word of god says devuni vakyam em cheptunadi I could have believed the report of the doctors. Why do you need to know what I am saying? So he is a healer. Jesus is the healer. Yes, yes. What's the purpose of it? He is the healer of our finances. I am not an artistic vision of Bhagwan Shiva. He is the healer of our sicknesses and diseases. I am not an artistic vision of Yadav and Bhagwan Shiva. So tonight, this evening. as i came here ikkadi gochi untunna ga nenu i want to remind you me gnapakam cheyalani korutunna that whatever that you face meer edi edurukuntunna jesus is the solution yese parishkaramu he is the healer aine swastha parichavadu the bible tells us bible manaku teliyestundi that what we see manam chuse etuvanti idi is not permanent adi sthiramani kaadu what we do not see manam chudana etuvanti idi is what is permanent adi nithyamaina etuvanti idi what i saw nenu edaithe chusanu the doctors told me why do you chepina vishayam that there's no way that he can live thanu brathake avakasham ledhi and they gave him 10 days 10 rojulu kaala vivadichcharu they said after 10 days if nothing happens 10 rojulu tarvata kuda em jaragagapothe we will switch off the machine a mission aapestam annaru 
And when I go into that hospital rooms నేను ఆస్పత్రి గదిలోనికి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు I saw people dying ప్రజలు చనిపోవడం నేను చూస్తున్నాను అక్కడ The enemy was saying he is the next one తరువాతి వారు తనే అని చెప్పడం నేను విన్నాను I remember that the word of God says దేవుని వాక్యం తెలియజేస్తున్న జ్ఞాపకం ఉంది Put on the whole armor of God దేవుని యొక్క సర్వాంగ కవచము ధరించుకోండి So that when the day of evil ఎప్పుడైతే దుర్దినం వస్తుందో comes వచ్చినప్పుడు you may be able to stand మీరు నిలబడగలరు it doesn't say if the day of evil ఒకవేళ ఆ దినం వస్తేని కాదు లేదు it says when the day of evil ఆ దుర్దినము వచ్చినప్పుడు that tells me that it doesn't matter how rich you are మీరు ఎంత ధనికులో దాని వెనవసము how beautiful you are మీరు ఎంత అందంగా ఉన్నారు అనుకుంటాము there will be days when the day of evil comes ఒక దుర్దినం అనేది రాబోతుంది it must find you full of the way మిమ్మల్ని మీ వాక్యం తోడు చూడగలగాలప్పుడు because when that call came to me ఎందుకంటే ఆ పిలుపు నాకు వచ్చినప్పుడు there was no time for me to phone my pastor మా పాస్టర్ గారు ఫోన్ చేసేటప్పుడు there was no time for me to phone my prayer partner na prarthana bhagwa swami phone chesina the word that was within me na lopala unna vakyamu had to come up adi baitha kravali and i jumped and said nen le cheppanu he will live and not die tanu chaavadu gaani jeevistadu i had the opportunity na kavakasham kaligi unnanu to get afraid bhaya padunatluga but i had to remember kaani nenu gnapakam chestunna that i have not been given the spirit of fear ee gitanam gala atmana ki ivvabadaledu but of power kaani shakti you love and a sound mind prema you indri nigraham gala atma ivvabadadu naaku The word of God is powerful. దేవుని వాక్యం శక్తివంతమైనది. I remember my husband said. నా భర్త చెప్పారు మీకు. God honors his word. దేవుడు తన వాక్యాన్ని గణపరుస్తాడు. More than all his names. తన నామము కంటే మించి. When we speak his word. ఆయన వాక్యమున పలికినప్పుడు. It's powerful. అది శక్తివంతమైనది. Things change. పరిస్థితులు మారాయి. When we speak the word of God. దేవుని వాక్యం ఎం పలికినప్పుడు. The Bible says the angels. బైబిల్ చెప్తుంది దేవదూతులు. Hearken to the word of God. దేవుని వాక్యమును వెంట ఆతురపరుచున్నారు. So when I ran to hospital. హాస్పిటల్ పరిగెత్తి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు. Where I said to myself. నాతో నేను చెప్పుకున్నాను. If I find him dead. ఒకవేళ ఆయన మరణించడం నేను చూస్తే. I will wake him up in the name of Jesus. యేసు నామములో తిరిగి లేపుతాను. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was depending on the power of the word of God. దేవుని వాక్యం శక్తి మీద నేను ఆధారపడుతున్నాను and it was not a day's word ఒక రోజు చదివిన వాక్యం కాదు అది it was all the time that i've been going to church ఎల్లప్పుడు నేను సంఘానికి వెళ్తున్నాను to pray a meeting ప్రార్థన కుడికలకు వెళ్ళడము it was an investment adi oka pettubadiga pettabaddadi because every time you come to church prathi saari meer sanghaniki vachinappudu you making an investment meer oka pettubadi pettunaru it is like you are putting water into a cup ela untundo oka cup lo neelu postunatluga that every time you come meer vachina prathi saari you are filling the cup meer aa ginne nimputunaru every time you come meer vachina prathi saari it is more inka nimputunaru and they will get to a time oka samayam raagani when it overflows adi pungi poradam raagani when it overflows people will start seeing results you will start bearing much fruit but it doesn't happen overnight hallelujah so when i go to hospital in hospital will not do he was in coma tanu coma lo unnadu what i saw in akkad chusina vishayam did not give me hope maaku nirikshana ivaledu but i had to remember kandiyan gnapakam cheskunna that the just shall live by faith neethi mantra vishwasamulamuga bratukunu we don't live by sight manam drushti prakaram naravamu we live by faith manam vishwasamunu prakaram chestunnam i had the opportunity naaku avakasham to believe what i saw nen chuse dan nammala i had to make a decision nirnayam cheskodaniki that i'm not going to be a widow gaani nen aa rakamga i'll stand on the word of god nen devu vakyam meda nilabaddanu i had to make a choice nen nimpika cheskunnanu and i also remembered nen gnapakam cheskunnanu that big companies pedda pedda companylu in the world lokam lovi they defend their names vaari perla vembadi untayi they spend a lot of money na devuni peru on marketing marketing vishayamlo nu defending their names vaari perunu kaapadukuntayi i said even god's way devuni vaak God will defend his word. దేవుడు తన వాక్యాన్ని for his name sake. తన నామము నిమిత్తమై. If companies can spend so much money. ఆ కంపెనీలు అంత డబ్బు ఖర్చు పెట్టగలిగితే if uh, if apple apple తీసుకోండి can spend a lot of money. చాలా డబ్బులు ఖర్చు పెట్టాయి. All over the world. లోకమంతా కూడా ఖర్చు పెట్టాయి. Defending their brand. వారి బ్రాండ్ ను ప్రచారం చేయడం. What about our God? మన దేవుని గురించి ఏంటి మరి? I said God. దేవ for your name sake. మీ నామము నిమిత్తమై. If a uh, uh, telephone companies oh, telephone company lu chuste if any other company leda vere ye company aina kuda can defy can spend a lot of money 
చాలా డబ్బులు వారు ఖర్చు పెట్టగలిగి డిఫెండింగ్ దేర్ నేమ్స్ వారి పేరు కాపాడుకోవడానికి వాట్ అబౌట్ పీపుల్ దట్ నో మీ టు బి యువర్ సర్వెంట్ మీ సేవకుడిగా నా సేవకురాలుగా నాకు తెలిసిన వారిని చెప్పి దే విల్ సే వేర్ వాస్ హర్ గాడ్ ఆమె దేవుడు ఎక్కడన వారు అడుగుతారు ఫర్ యువర్ నేమ్ సేక్ మీ నామం నిమిత్తమే దేవా ప్రూవ్ టు దిస్ డాక్టర్స్ ఈ వైద్యులకు రుజువు పరచండి ప్రూవ్ టు ఎవరీబడీ ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి రుజువు చేయండి దట్ యువర్ వర్డ్ ఇస్ అ లైఫ్ మీ వాక్యం సజీవమైనది ది వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ సేస్ దేవుని వాక్యం తెలియజేస్తుంది హిస్ వర్డ్ ఆయన వాక్యము ఇస్ లివ్ an active aina sajeevam ayindi shaktivantamaina double edges so rendanchulu vaadigala kattu ganna penetrates through the dividing soul and bone marrow adi prana atmalu vibhayistu velutunnadi adi mochistu when i got to hospital va hospital ni vellinappudu i said mike mike nenu nanu you will live and not die you chanipovu gaani jeevisthavu you will live to declare the works of the lord devuni kriyalu prachuram cheyadani bratukutavu ani i remembered nenu na gnapakam undi that jesus yesu spoke to trees chettulu to palikadu he spoke to dead bodies murutamaina shavala to palikadu and therefore kabati i had confidence naaku dhairyam undi that i can speak to his body nenu tana shariram to palikadu i knew that his spirit can hear me aina aatma tha maatal vinagaledu telusu naaku the doctor said we give you 10 days 10 rojulu mem istam annaru and in that 10 days aa 10 rojullo i just stood on the word of god devuni vakyam ayina nilabaddanu desperate situations athyavasara paristhitilu demand that you do you take desperate measures athyavasaramaina kriyalu cheyinatluga kurtayi i was not watching tv nen tv lu chudatledu i was not listening to radio stations radio ni maatalu nen vinatledu i zoned into the word of god devuni vakyam ka anusandhanam unnanu every scripture on healing i was looking for it sosthata gurchina prati vakyanni vetukutunnanu every preaching about healing i was listening to it sosthata gurchina prati vartamanam nu vintu vachanu because faith comes by hearing endukante vinitu valana vishwasam kalugunu and hearing by the word of god devuni vakyam vinitu valana kalugunu and i i i read a scripture in galatians 6:7 galati 6:7 nenu vakyam chadivanu it says god is not mocked devudu mogu vekrimpabadadu whatsoever that a man sows manishi deeninaithe vittadu that also shall they reap vaadu panta kostadu dani vishayame matthew 18:19 matha 8 19 lo untunnadi 18 19 and 18 as well 18 lo kuda it says where two or more ఇద్దరు లేదా ముగ్గురు గదర్ టుగెదర్ కలిసి ఇన్ హిస్ నేమ్ ఆయన నామం మందు కూడినప్పుడు యు విల్ బి ఇన్ దేర్ మిస్ వారి మధ్యలో ఉంటాను ఆయన అన్నాడు వే టు ఎక్కడైతే ఇద్దరు టచ్ అండ్ అగ్రీ ఏకీభవిస్తారో అండ్ ఆస్క్ ఫర్ ఎనీథింగ్ దేని విషయమైనా ఏకీభవిస్తారో యు విల్ డు ఇట్ ఫ్రమ్ హెవెన్ ఆయన పరలోకం నుంచి చేస్తా అన్నాడు సో 10 డేస్ కేమ్ అండ్ యు నో గో 10 రోజులు వచ్చి వెళ్ళిపోవచ్చు అండ్ నథింగ్ హ్యాపెన్ ఏమీ జరగలేదు and the doctor said switch off the machine a mission la ape endi ani and i said i have not had god na ak devu and today digiroju you may be facing situations asadhyamana paristhithi edurkuntunnaru emo that looks like it's over ai poyindi annatluga undemo but if god has not said it's over kaani devudu ai poyindi anna cheyachu inka ad ai poledu on the 17th day pad 7th rojuna people were coming prajalu vastunnaru and going velipothunaru they will pray and get tired varu prarthinchi alasipothunaru and even people of faith varu vishwasa prajalu kuda they would come varu ostunaru and say patience you know patience garmik telusa sorry there's no hope nirikshan led ani annaru but you have to hear god for yourself kaani mee kosam meer devuni swaram vinali the bible says bible cheptundi my sheep hears my voice na gure na swaram vinunu and the voice of a stranger mokka kotta vari swaram they will not follow vaaru vembadincharu family came kutumbam ochindi the god tired vaaru alasipoyaru they started calling me varu naaku phone chestu vachanu and said patience how is mike doing patience garu mike ela unnadandi and i said nenu nanu it is well with him thana thanta baagundi annanu the enemy will push you to confess what you see apavadi meer chuse dani oppukol cheyadu i refuse to confess what i saw nenu chuse dani oppukol cheyadani tiruskarinchanu i said he is healed by jesus stripes and he has been made whole yesu gaayam dwara thana swasatha pondi unnadu nenu parikano arakana baagayadu and on the 17th day padi hedava rojuna i went back to god nen devun degarki kellanu and i said god deva 
I don't want to hear from my prophet. I don't want to hear from anybody. Your word says, your sheep hears your voice. And the voice of a stranger they will not follow. Speak to me tonight. Tell me whether you're taking my husband or not. And I heard the voice of God. Say, I healed him before he even went to hospital. But what I saw was not what I heard. So I had to stand on the word. When I went to hospital the following day, he was still in coma. I remembered Galatians 6 7. There was a pastor that came to pray for him. Galatians 6 7, it says, Whatsoever that a man sows, that also shall they reap. I called the pastor. We went to a separate room. And I said, Pastor, I'm going to sow a seed. I stand on the scripture. Galatians 6. I am sowing for his healing. You see, the word of God works. Adi. I was doing the word of God. I was sowing as a principle of the word of God. On the, I sowed the biggest seed that I had never sowed before. That pastor nearly fall, fell off the chair. He took that seed and he prayed. And that day my husband woke up hallelujah what is amazing is that he said when he i wrote that check because he was, he couldn't see me it was just the two of us me and the pastor but in the spirit you could see me writing that check and he was told your wife has done the word so god cannot oppose his weight. He's not a man that he can lie. When he, we do the word of God, he's obligated to do his promises. So he woke up on that day. The pastor took that seed and he built a prayer center, double-story prayer center. And today, it is a monument for Jesus. It is a testimony of what the Lord has done. After he woke up, I was so happy. I thought, Lord, the battle is over. But it was a beginning of a six-year battle. The taller the tree, the more the wind blows it. When you are called for greatness, the enemy will fight you greatly. So the amount of challenges that you go through signify how big your destiny is. You must never be discouraged by the battles that you fight. The bigger the battles, the bigger the victories. The Bible says we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. My husband was sick for six years. Six years. The enemy was telling me that you say he's healed. You are lying. 
But you see God wanted to show himself strong. You could see today there's no trace of sickness. No disease. Hallelujah. Because the word of God says when you go through the waters he will be with you. When you go through the rivers you will not drown. When you go through the fire you will come out not even smelling smoke. He does not smell smoke. You cannot trace sickness and disease. He is a faithful God. I don't know what you are going through tonight. But God wants you to believe in him. Believe in his word. Be a credible witness for Jesus. So that you can have a testimony. When you speak, you will speak with passion. It doesn't matter whether in business or it is with your children. Maybe it is whatever it may be. Stand in the word of God. The word of God works. And God is faithful. Even in business, we were sharing with Pastor Elia that in our farm, in our business, we did not have water. We didn't have enough water. And in that business, you cannot operate without water. And my husband said, God made water. And we had a, a, a man of God preach. And say, God is a God in the marketplace. So even in business, we can trust God to perform miracles. And so God, my husband said, let's pray for water. And then we prayed. And then we asked the people to go and dig one more time the boreholes. And we found so much water that it is too much. Because we stood on the word of God. That if God can save Peter's business, Peter was in business and he was about to close his business because there were no products. He fished the whole night. He toiled the whole night. I don't know how long you've been toiling, but it is it's not a new thing. Peter had toiled the whole night. He caught nothing. But he gave Jesus his boat. So give Jesus your business. And Jesus told him what to do. He said, cast your nets into the deep. The Bible says, he caught so much fish that he could not be able to handle it alone. He had to call his partners to come and help him. So even now, you may have nothing, but when you call Jesus and say, Jesus, come take control, he is able to change things around. He did that also with the widow, the prophet of God said, what do you have in your heart? He said, only a little bit of oil. Because of obedience, she obeyed the prophet. And she went and borrowed jars. And God did a miracle. She did what the prophet of God told her to do. She had to trust what the man of God told her to do. And the Bible says oil could not stop flowing for as long as she had jars. And tonight, God says, obey me. Trust me. Do what the word of God tells you to do. And he will do miracles in your situation. John, John 17. Johan um, Padihedu. John 14, I beg your pardon. Johan Padnalagandi. 
Jesus is like doing a performance appraisal. Jesus, Jesus, Prabhu, after God has given us a vision, man, should we go? He is saying to God. They would do. They would chapter. He is accounting for the time that he. he had on earth tanu bhoomi meeda chesina atundi vishayamai lekka adugutunnadu we know that he opened the blind eyes tanu gudi vaari kannulu terachadu adu telusu manaku we know that he he raised the dead mrutulu naina leipadu manaku telusu but the one thing that he reported about kaani okka vishayamaina telichesina vishayam entante he said when i was with them nenu vaarito unnapudu i gave them your word mee vaakyanni vaariki ichanu ani because i gave them your word mee vaakyanni vaariki ichanu kaabatti the world will hate them lokam varini dveshisthundi my prayer is that you do not take them out of the world na prarthana meni entante varini ikka nunchi vaakyam nunchi tolaginchadu deliver them from the evil one kaani kidu nunchi varini vidipinchumu he says they are no longer of the world var ye matram loka loka sambandham kaadu as i am not of the world nenu loka sambandhini kaani riti ga so it tells us adi manaku telichestundi that we live in the world manamu lokamlo jeevisthunnamu but we are not of the world kaani loka sambandhalam kaamu so we can live kaabadi manam jeevinchagalamu outside the systems ee vyavasthalaku velupa of the world loka vyavasthalaku velupa we are supposed to live above manamu paina unnathu jeevinchagalamu of the world loka vyavasthalaku minchi some calls it the fourth dimension kondaru nalago konam ani pilustaru we are supposed to live manamu ee parisalu undali that we cannot be dictated by time manamu samayam dwara manam swadhinam unda unchukodu padakudu kaani we cannot be dictated by matter and space manamu sthalaniki parimitiki haddulo కొడుతు కాని because jesus himself yesu tane was excused from those things aa paristhithi nunchi velupagaliki vachadu so even what you are facing right now ippudu meeru edi edurukuntunna kuda can be excused adi kuda binahinchabadagalu because the word of god endukante devuni vakyamu is sharper than a double edged sword rendanchulo vaadi gala kadgam kante padunainadi the doctors had said no he is dying why did you say that he is going to die but medical science was excused adi kaani why vaidya shastram anedi pakkana pettabaddi and he lived aina jeevinchadu because the word of god దేవుని వాక్యము ఇస్ సుపీరియర్ సర్వోన్నతమైనది కాబట్టి దట్ మెడికల్ సైన్స్ వైద్య శాస్త్రం కంటే మించి when jesus was born యేసు జన్మించినప్పుడు మెడికల్ సైన్స్ వాస్ ఎక్స్క్యూజ్డ్ వైద్య శాస్త్రం అనేది మినహాయించబడింది మేరీ నెవర్ స్లెప్ట్ విత్ ఎ మ్యాన్ ఈ మరియ ఎన్నడు పురుషుంతో పరస్త్రి పడుకోనలేదు and god wants to do that in your business దేవుడు మీ వ్యాపారంలో అది చేయాలని కోరుతున్నాడు with your life మీ జీవితంతో he wants to heal you tonight మిమ్మల్ని స్వస్థపరచాలని కోరుతున్నాడు he wants to do a miracle with your life మీ జీవితంలో అద్భుతం చేయాలని కోరుతున్నాడు whatever you are facing మీరు ఏది ఎదుర్కొంటున్నా he is able ఆయన సమర్థుడు హalleluya hallelujah when jesus turned water into wine యేసు నీటిని ద్రాక్షర సమగా మార్చగలిగితే time was excused సమయం మినహాయించబడది in the normal sahajanga he was supposed to have identified a farm తనకు ఒక మంచి పొలం ఉండాలి మంచి ద్రాక్షతోడ నాటి ఉండాలి he was supposed to have gotten people తను ప్రజలకు అనుమతించుండాలి కదా ఆయన ఆయక ద్రాక్షరసం తయారు చేయనట్లు అని waited for many years అనేక సంవత్సరాలు వేచి ఉన్న తర్వాత అది మంచిగా తయారవుట్లుగా కానీ అదంతయు was excused అది మినహాయించబడింది that is the kingdom of god అదే దేవుని రాజ్యం ఇది మనం నివసిస్తున్నది మనం నివసిస్తున్నది but when you don't know కానీ మీకు తెలియకపోతే that you are in the kingdom of god మీరు దేవుని రాజ్యంలో ఉన్నారని you will allow the laws of this world ఈ లోకపు నియమాలు Dictate what should happen in your life. మీ జీవితంలో ఏం జరగాలో నిర్ణయించినట్లుగా So time. కాబట్టి సమయము can be excused. అది మినహాయించబడగలదు. The circumstances can be excused. ప్రతిది కూడా మినహాయించబడగలదు. Even the laws of the land. దేశం యొక్క చట్టాలు కూడా అవి కూడా మినహాయించబడగలవు. హల్లెలూయా. We believe. మనం నమ్ముతున్నాము. That God is able. దేవుడు సమర్థుడు. To do what is impossible. అసాధ్యమైనవి చేయటకు. What is impossible with man? మనుషులకు ఏదైతే అసాధ్యమో. It's possible with God. దేవునికి అది సాధ్యమై ఉంటున్నది. as did you believe god eppudandi chivariga meer devu nammini asadhyamaina vishayame when they tell you that it is impossible asadhyamaina vaaru eppudu ente chepparu it is an opportunity to, for god to step in devudu praveshinchadaga idi oka avakasham let god step in devudu praveshinchani vandi in your situation tonight mee paristhithilo ee ratri let him come in aina rani vandi lopaniki and do the impossible asadhyamaina cheyani vandi when he does that aina adi chesinappudu he gives you an opportunity aina meeku avakasham isthunnaru so that you can be able to go meer velunatlu ga avakasham vachi a credible witness devuniki nammakamaina sakshiga undunnatlu the bible says bible cheptundi in romans 8:19 roma 8:19 the, 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 the creation 
ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಯಾವತ್ತು is groaning and moaning for the manifestations of the sons of god devuni kumarla pratikshata kosamai mora pedutunnadi it means that even creation ante srushti kuda it is groaning for us mana kosamai mora pedutunnadi to manifest as the children of god devuni bidalaga mana pratiksha pachalani so that we can rescue it mana varni kaapadunnatluga from its frustration vaari yokka visugu nunchi so we need to arise kaabadi manam levali and shine prakashinchali so that we can rescue it manam varni kaapadunnatluga as children of god devuni bidalaga but we cannot do that kaani manam adu cheyalemu without enough empowerment sa kaavalsu shakti lekunda the holy spirit parishuddhaatma samarthyamu because the holy spirit parishuddhaatma devudu is our helper mana sahayakudu is our teacher mana bodhukudu we can only do aina maatra manam cheyagalamu great exploits goppa karyamulu cheyagalamu manamu for jesus yesu kosamu if we depend manamu na aadharapadithe on the holy spirit parishuddhaatma devudu meeda what has happened to my husband na bartato ye reethi jarigindi might adi shakti toki jarigindi kaadu no power adhikaram to jarigindi kaadu by the spirit of god devuni aatma dwara jarigina vishayam adi and i'm saying nenu cheptunanu god is not a respecter of persons devudu ye vyakti ki pakshapati kaadu what he has done for me naaku edaithe chesaru he can do for you me kosam kuda cheyagaladu hallelujah hallelujah god is saying tonight devudu raatri cheptunadu step up lechi paiki randi arise lem levandi and shine prakashinchandi your time is now mee samayam ide the whole world lokamantayu is covered with darkness chikadi kami untunadi you need to arise miru levani tapadali so that tapadali. they can come to your light varu mi veluguloni ki vachinatuga the bible says bible cheptundi we should be the light manam veluguthunu kavadu manam lokaniki veluguyinnamu a light cannot be put under the table i kap kuncham kinda dani veluguyinchamu kali you go miru ekkadiki velina kuda in your work space mi pani chese pradesham lo mi kutumbamlo wherever you are ekkada miru unna you should be the light miru veluguga undali you should be the salt of the earth miru lokaniki uppu vale undali salt preserves va uppu ka There's no way that you can put salt in something. ఒక దానిలో మీరు ఉప్పు ఉంచి remains the same. అది అదే స్థితిలో ఉండు ఉండదు. You go. మీరు ఎక్కడికి వెళ్ళినా కూడా You must be the light. మీరు వెలుగుగా ఉండాలి. Jesus Christ. యేసుక్రీస్తు వెలుగుగా. Where do you get in? ఎక్కడికి మీరు ప్రవేశించినా Darkness disappear. అక్కడ చీకటి పారదలు రావాలి. Because you are the light. ఎందుకని మీరు వెలుగైనారు. Jesus Christ. యేసుక్రీస్తు యొక్క వెలుగు. But all what I'm talking about. నేను మాట్లాడుతున్న విషయం అంతా. That's with. ఒకటి పని చేసేది. Receiving Jesus. యేసుని స్వీకరించట ద్వారా. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. we living in what he has done on the cross i know through me the yedi chesadu dani nammandi modatiga because his blood endukante aina raktamu was shed to redeem us manalu vimochinchadagu chindinchabadi he overpaid aina chellinchi unnadu for our debts mana appula vishayamai he overpaid aina chellinchesunnadu for our sins mana paapamulu nimittamai so tonight kabati ratri he brought us aina manalu teesukochadu all the way from south africa south africa nunchi ikkadi varaku to remind you mee gnapakam cheyi that's how much he loves you ayina antaga mimmalni premisthunadu he brought us all the way anta dooram nunchi teesukochadu to come and tell you vachi meeku maata cheppamani how much entaga he loves you ayina mimmalni premisthunadu if you have not taken him serious before idi varuku ayina teevranga meer pariginchakapothe tonight is the night ee raatri sarina raatri when you can say lord meer cheppagalaru deva i surrender my business na vyaparanni samarpisthunadu i surrender my family na kutumbanni samarpisthunadu i surrender everything pratidanni samarpisthunanu do a new thing minutana karyam cheyandi because he wants to do great exploits endukante ayina goppa karyalu cheyalanu korutunadu the bible says bible cheptundi those that know their god tama devuni erigina varu not those that hear about their god vaari devuni gurinchi vinina varu ga kaaru it's a relationship issue ఒకవేళ సంబంధ సమస్యతో మీరు సంబంధం కలిగి ఉంటే తమ దేవుని ఎరిగిన వారు బలము కలిగి వారు గొప్ప కార్యములు చేయుదురు పేతురుతో అన్నాడు ఆన్ దిస్ రాక్ ఈ బండ మీద i nenu will build kartanu my church na sangamunu so jesus tonight yesu ee ratri he wants to use you mimmalni vaayina vaadukovalanu korchunadu great exploits goppa karyam cheyataku so that he can show his great power aina goppa shakti ni meeku chupinchinatluga all the good things manchi vishayalanni you that we desire manam korukunevi everything prathivi the bible tells us bible manam telichesedi in psalm 24 kirtana 24 lo that the earth bhoomi antayu is the lord adi devuni de and everything that is in it bhoomi endu dani yokka samasthamu belongs to him aina chendinadi so whatever that you desire
desire. Whatever that you are dreaming of. He wants to give to you. But he wants to give. To a transformed vision of you. So everything. That you desire. Is looking for you. But it is looking. For a transformed vision of you. A transformed vision. That is full of the way. That it will be able to manage whatever that God gives. Devudu miku yedi istu nado. As an ambassador. Oka raya bariga. For the kingdom of God. Devu ni rajya praya bariga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When people look at you. Prajal ni nu chusi na pudu. They must see a credible witness. Varu namma kame na sakshini chuda kalagali. You must be a light. Mir vilugu ga ondali. For Jesus. Yesu ko samay. A lot of people do not come to church. Do not believe in Jesus. Because we are not representing him well. They are not seeing the word of God. Becoming life in our lives. They are not seeing us. Living victorious lives. So tonight, Jesus is empowering us. That from tonight, people will see credible witnesses in us. Hallelujah. We will be lenders. No longer borrowing from the world. They must come to us. They must come to our light. So that we can be able to lend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we are called. To be a blessing. We are blessed. To be a blessing. So we must live. In our rightful place. So tonight. Tonight, I am here to remind you that Jesus is the healer. He wants to heal you. He wants to heal your finances. He wants to heal, he wants to heal every part of your life. It starts by receiving him. As your Lord and your Savior. You have to surrender your life. You have to say Jesus.